Regarding the solar maximum cycle, uh, the sun has a period of solar activity that lasts about 11 years, so it is scheduled to reach a maximum around 2012, but it's been doing this uh, for millennia. It reaches a solar maximum every 11 years or so for millennia, and there's no reason to suspect that this 2012 time period will be any different from the others. Now, as far as the Earth's magnetic field goes, uh, there is, in historic time, uh, pole reversals, north to south, south to north, but that sort of pole reversal of the Earth's magnetic field occurs on 400,000 year time scales, and it takes thousands of years for that change in polarity to take place. And there's no evidence whatsoever that it's going to start um, changing polarity in 2012, and even if it did, uh, it, that wouldn't affect the rotation of the Earth, nor would it affect the, the rotation axis of the Earth. There are no planetary alignments in 2012. There won't be any planetary alignments for a couple of decades on either side of 2012. And even if there were, it wouldn't be an effect uh, because the only objects in space that materially affect the Earth's motion are the sun and the moon. Folks have to be very careful when they get information on the web. Uh, and that's, that goes especially for objects that are in near Earth space and uh, are coming close to the Earth. Uh, we have a, a website called Asteroid Watch, which is backed with evidence and scientific uh, method. Uh, if we put something out there, it's the truth. Uh, if you go to other websites and they're putting things out without evidence, without science, uh, don't believe it. Uh, you have to be very careful where you go for your information. The Russians are taking this seriously. Do you think this is a real threat? Well, there are, there are two things here, Bill. Uh, the first is, there is a real and present threat from these things which are called uh, near-Earth asteroids, NEAs, of which there are many thousands orbiting the solar system. And there is a, definitely a real risk of one of these colliding with the Earth and causing uh, all manner of destruction. Now, the actual risk from this particular asteroid, uh, as I understand it, looking at the figures today, was reckoned to be, uh, a little while ago, around about 2.7%. That's about a 1 in 40 chance of hitting the Earth in 25 years' time. Now, I know that NASA scientists have been very busy tracking the orbit of this particular asteroid very, very carefully.